A two-year-old Bakersfield boy is at the center of a medical procedure that might soon be the first of its kind published in the United States. 23 ABC's Mike Hart introduces us to baby Andrew, a toddler who cherishes life with every breath. Mike? Todd and Jackie, Andrew Sandoval has been battling the odds since birth. He was born without a right lung, and as a result, his major internal organs have been shifting to the left to fill that space. Enter the doctors at Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, who are trying a scarcely published procedure that they hope will restore some balance and longevity to his life. You can hear little Andrew's fight for life with every breath. The local toddler has been fighting two rare medical conditions since birth, and his mother Andrea says those conditions have resulted in numerous infections and five hospitalizations. He does get sick really easy. I mean, this simple cold turns into bronchitis. He's had bronchitis about uh, 11 times. It's hard, but it's, it's doable. <laughs> I still love him, even if he is a troublemaker. Doctors have been aggressively battling those infections, knowing any damage to his single developing lung could be trouble down the road. His short life has been spent in and out of intensive care units, and things have slowly been getting worse. Andrew's journey brought him here to Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, where doctors performed a very unique surgery, one designed to fill the void in Andrew's chest that he's had since birth. Dr. Winfield Wells, a physician and attending surgeon, along with Dr. Mark Urata, chief plastic surgeon, join forces to try a procedure that's only been published in Europe, filling the space in his chest with a tissue expander. Currently, the absence of the right lung has caused his left lung to enlarge in order to compensate, and that has shifted the positions of his major organs. And specifically, it pushes the heart and the other structures, including the breathing tube, uh, over and can cause kinking. And the kinking of his airway is what's been contributing to his numerous infections, not to mention hindering the body's ability to turn oxygen into carbon dioxide. The day we spoke to Andrew's mom in January, he had to be hospitalized with pneumonia. The surgery would eventually create a more normal internal blueprint. This is a pretty rare entity, and this is a hospital that frankly gets uh, the rarest of the rare. Dr. Urata placed the tissue expander on the right side of his chest. It's connected to a port that's located just under the skin. Dr. Urata is then able to add saline to the expander over time. This is a picture of Andrew's chest before the procedure. The dark area is his left lung, and you can notice shading on the right side where his organs were shifting. Now an x-ray with the expander on the outside of his chest. This tissue expander will be used to slowly move the heart and the left-sided lung over to the left side. And once we have it there, and as he grows into a young adult, we can then replace the tissue expander with an implant. It has no function as far as helping with ventilation, but it will take up space and restore the, the chest anatomy to a more normal configuration. It's the first for Dr. Urata and the second surgery of its kind for Dr. Wells in the last 20 years. And while the technology has changed, the goal remains the same. That's why we want to try and get this lung um, in as good shape as we can. So, so he, he, he's going to need this a long time. It's been just over three weeks since his procedure. The raspy breathing is gone, and Andrew's mom is taking things slow, which can be hard to do with a toddler on the move. He hasn't gotten sick yet, so I'm hoping... He really doesn't go out that much and try to keep him inside as much as possible. Yeah, he did. And we'll be keeping an eye on his progress. Dr. Wells went on to say they'll be putting together Andrew's case with the other one he worked on 14 years ago in order to present them to the medical community. It would be the first report of its kind in the United States. In studio, Mike Hart, 23 ABC. All right, Mike, thanks for that. And now Andrea and Andrew are living with her sister and have incurred massive medical bills. So friends of the family have mobilized a fundraising drive to help offset those costs. If you'd like to help, you can send donations to the Southwest Foundation. Specify the donations are for Baby Andrew, 5555 Business Park South, Suite 110 in Bakersfield, 93309. And all donations are tax deductible, and every dollar will go toward that family. Well, and our best to him. Yes, definitely. His recovery.